Hi, my name is Jim Ciandella with Faltech, and today with the help of the Faltech training and demonstration trailer, we're going to be talking about the importance of calculating your total fall clearance using a six-foot internal shock absorbing lanyard from your anchor point to the ground. When I do this training, I always ask the question, how much total fall clearance do you need to allow for from the anchor point to the ground when you're using a six-foot shock absorbing lanyard? And the number one answer I always get is 12 feet. The anchor point we're going to be using today is approximately 13 feet off the ground. So with that number one guess in mind, we should have plenty of fall clearance. Let's go ahead and do the drop and find out. So what happened here? The user hit the ground. So it's obvious that that 12 feet, or in this case, the 13 foot anchor point was not high enough. And the total fall clearance calculation was not done properly. So what do we need to take into account? First off, we start off with your total lanyard length, which is six feet. Then you need to add in your total deceleration distance, which is up to another four feet. So now we're at 10 feet. Then you need to add in one foot of harness stretch or dorsal D-ring shift. Then you need to add in five feet, which is the distance from your dorsal D-ring to the ground on your average size worker. And then you need to add in your one and a half foot safety factor for a grand total of 17 and a half feet for a six foot internal shock absorbing lanyard. 